up, Panther fans? You are listening to Poor on Panthers Radio. It's your boy, Hunter Shepard, with the call. In just minutes, we're about to resume district action. Poor on Lady Panthers getting set to take on the Crowder Lady Demons. So let's recap. See, I knew y'all's mascot. Oh, hold up. Uh... So to recap what happened the other day, the Lady Panthers would win the first game 16-5, then Crowder would come back and beat Quentin 8-7, and then the Lady Panthers would beat Quentin 4-2. So here's how the bracket stands. A Lady Panther win clinches district champions, a, while a loss will force a game six. Fans, I'm going to try to have some lineups here today. I got my man Carson from Canadian over here. I'm relying on him and whoever this guy is. I, Yeah, his name's Jalen. I don't know. I don't know. He's dating a friend of mine. That's all I know. Oh, oh you go to Canadian? Oh, cool, cool. You'll see me at the Porum Tournament. Yeah. But anyway... Got some homies from Canadian helping me out here today, which I didn't know they was going to be here till last minute. Coverage of Lady Panther Fast Pitch is being brought to you by the Hunter Shepherd Podcast, uploading a new episode every week. You can catch the playlist on demand on the YouTube channel under the playlist, the Hunter Shepherd Podcast. To give you a preview of what we're going to talk about in this week's episode, we'll be going into why Will Kane thinks Zion could probably be a bust, and uh, we're going to be breaking down which teams clinch district champions, and so much more. You will not want to miss this week's podcast. Yeah. Also, Panther fans, don't forget, your football team will travel to Watts tomorrow night. Kickoff is at 7. We'll be bringing you the game here on Porum Panthers Radio. Yeah. Oh, hold up. Hey, Carson, let's be honest. Can he dunk? Yeah. Oh, man, we're going to be in for a treat when we play Canadian. We're going to see some dunking action in the tournament. Can't wait. <laughs> yeah, this is live right now. It's so, like you like a move in or something. I've never seen you there before. Where from? Oh, so you're the one he was tell you he's the one you was telling me about. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, y'all see me next week for sure. Yeah, I know, I already got my broadcast going. All righty, yeah. I'm going to have a lineup, but I'm relying on these two to relay me names. Yeah, I didn't, first time we played Crowder, I didn't have any names. I don't know, hopefully you all remember names if they don't. Oh. Y'all got anything to eat in porn? Oh, I don't know, man. I guess you could drive around and see. I don't know. You don't, you don't stay around porn? Oh, I live in town. I just don't get out very much unless I'm doing something like this. I don't know who's batting first. I don't know if they're doing the coin toss. No, I mean for the team. You guys got to tell me last names if you can, too. Okay, hold up. I, I, I don't know some of the last names. Uh, I can ask though. I can ask though. Alright. Okay, so we are about to get underway. So as I said, remember, a, a Lady Panther win clinches district champions. A While a loss will contribute to a game three. Now, don't get me wrong, folks. I love seeing a softball game, but... Yep. I see her baseball scorekeeper over there. We put her on book. I see you over there, Kelly. I don't think she heard me.
thought we were starting at here. I don't know what we're waiting on. Hey. Yeah, football field that way. Real nice. Got a track around it. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. When are y'all going to get turf? It, not very many eight man fields have turf. No, there's very few 11 man fields that don't have turf. I know quite a few of them. Yeah, yeah, I know Chicago doesn't. I've been over there before. Well, I know you know about Ufala. Ladies and gentlemen, Carson up here knows everything about Ufala. Funny thing, plays at Canadian, knows everything about Ufala. I know they didn't. I know. I know. I know they didn't say my name over there, ladies and gentlemen. That was just a joke. I'd be like Stephen A. Smith out here. I don't know. I say I'm like Stephen A. Smith, but people's probably referring to me as a Will Kane or a Ryan Hollins. Yeah. I actually played that sound effect on my podcast. We like stay off. The weed. I don't know what we're waiting on, folks. I don't know. So, Lady Panther defense will go on the field. It looks like Crowder won the toss. There's some of our football team right up there. I recognize a lot of them. What? I don't understand. I don't understand what th that. Oh. Yeah, we're going with you fought the Fall of Chicago game the other w night, the other week, but I had to film that night. You fall a beach, Chicago. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's what one of the basketball girls told me. They got Nick. They got Nick I, you, you know I don't know anyone from Ufala. I mean, I might know, I know a couple people. I know some, I know a few people on the girls' basketball team. Yeah. I don't know her. Oh. So who's pit, who's at bat? Evan Lee. Evan Lee. So pitch I bat for the Lady Demons number four, Evan Leak. I think I've got that right. Remember, if, all, if everything goes wrong, we blame Jalen and Carson from Canadian. <laughs> all no, all kidding. Strike one, all one the count. And dead ball. That is. She's gonna get walked to base. Runners on first. Who's this? Kylie Smith. So, up the bat for Crowder, number six, Kylie Smith. See, I actually got names this time. Strike one. Oh, one the count. Uh, is that ball one? 
Ball one, one one the count, no outs. Ball two, two one the count. Oh, oh, foul ball. One, two, the count. I know, right? <laughs> hey, you two say it, not me. So, one, two, the count. No outs. Strike three. That's going to bring up first out. I need a name. Repeat that. Stormy Shores. Stormy Shores, number 25 for Crowder, getting ready to back. I hope you're right on that. Okay. I know. Yeah, as I say, I know. Yeah. So one out. Strike one. Oh, one the count. Oh. I'm fine. I'm fine. Also, ground ball. Crystal Brown gets it, throws it to Allie Bush. And Nag is going to bring up second out for Crowder. While Leeks advances to third base. So now Crowder has runners on third. We have two outs. And who's at bat? I don't know. Kiara. I don't know her last name. I need a name. Who's at bat? What's her last name? Do what? I don't know how to pronounce that. Number 13 at bat for Crowder. That was strike 101. The count. I can't pronounce that name. Look, her first name's Kiara, all right? I can't pronounce her last name. I blame it on Carson and Jalen from Canadian. Oh, and that is going to be a decent hit, and it gets dropped. Leaks gets back home. And she is going to score. That makes the score 1-0. Runners on second. What's, what's this girl's name? Maggie Lock. Do what? Maggie Lock. Well, you guys heard that. So, two outs. And that is going to be a ground ball. It is dropped. It is going into the infield. And, I, and she overthrows. She gets the second runners at second and third. I need a name. Kelsey Motley, number 12 for Crowder, up the bat. Two outs. I actually have names this time, folks. Strike one. Oh, one the count. So, oh, one the count. Ball one. One, one the count. Interesting fact, folks, I'm actually in a different spot than I usually am. I'm usually over by the third base dugout. Ball two, two, one, the count. I'm actually over by the first base dugout. Ball three, three, one, the count. Remember, Crowder does have runners on second and third. Ball four, and she walks the base. I need a name. Chloe, I don't know. Chloe, Reader. Chloe what? Reader. Okay, Chloe Reader, number 21 up the bat. Runner, bases are loaded. So bases are loaded. Ball one. 
eight. Ball one, one oh the count. Catcher faking the throw. Riley Miller pitching for the Lady Panthers, by the way. Strike one, one one the count. Bigger question is, how do you feel about it? <laughs> Strike two, one to the count. Two out. Crowder does have two outs. Oh, ground ball. Crystal Brown throws it to Allie Bush, and that is going to be third out, and we are getting to the bottom of the first. Crowder's holding on to a one-to-nothing lead. Lady Panthers will get ready to bat. See, at least I got people I can tell me names. Haley's the only one I practically know. Yeah. And I don't even know if she still remembers me. Tried to talk to her the other day and she just ignored me. I don't know. I don't know. I saw what, I saw what Carson and Jalen said. What did I say? What did we say? Nothing, nothing. Hey, y'all didn't say anything. I just try to, I don't know, we blame everything on YouTube. No, I'm kidding. You two know I'm just kidding. <laughs> so we're going to leave it right here. Here we see Porn Panthers photographer Jacob Lightman walking about. Uh, who's pitching? Carson, who's pitching? Uh, Evan Leak. So, Evan Leak for the, for Crowder, getting ready to pitch. Now they had Stormy pitch in the first half when we played the, played them the first time. Yeah, Evan's the ace. Yeah, yeah. I think they return both of them next year. Uh, I think Evan's a senior. Really? Oh. No, she's a junior, I think. No, they said Stormy's a junior. She's a junior. So getting ready to bat for the Lady Panthers, number seven, Danielle Barnes. Ball one, one oh the count. And we see Lightman in the other team's dugout. That's interesting. Ball two, 2-0 two the count, no outs. And now he's gonna be a ground ball hit. It is scooped up by 13. Who was that? Who's the first base? All right, you guys heard that name. Hey. Maggie, L O T T. Okay, 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 good. You know I have a trouble pronouncing people's names. Up the bat to the Lady Panthers, number 22, Mallory Barrett. Ball one, one oh the count. And now he's going to be a bunch. She's on the move. And she dropped it. Mallory Barrett gets the first base, and she is safe. Porham now has runners on first. One out. Up the bat for the Lady Panthers. Number one, Savannah Makeham. I swear, they better not hit no foul balls toward me as close as I am. They hit them toward me all the time. Ball one. One oh the count. And that is going to be a good hit. It drops. Savannah Makeham gets the first. And now we got runners on first and second. Getting ready to hit for the Lady Panthers. Number 17, Alasia Barbie.
Ball one, one over the count. And that's going to be a bunt. Oh, and she is out at first. So she bunted. They tossed to number 10. She's out. So brings up second out. Runners on second and third. Up to bat for the Lady Panthers. Number two, Kinley Hokett. Let me tell you folks right now, it is a lot... Strike one, all on the count. It is a lot nicer today than it was yesterday. It was too hot. Oh, heads up, foul ball. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, that almost hit a kid. No one got hurt. Well, that was a close call over there. So, foul ball, 0-2 the count. Two outs. And that is going to be hit into the infield, and it is dropped. And now Mallory Barrett and Savannah Makeham get home. Brings the score 2-1. to one. And Kingley Hokett gets the first base. Up the bat for the Lady Panthers, number 23, Allie Bush. Oh, and that is going to be dropped. And it was a fair ball. Oh, it wasn't fair? Oh, foul ball, never mind. Oh, one the count. Or at least that's what Carson and Jalen are telling me. You, wait, you say you played basketball too? Uh, you know, you'll see me a lot at the Porum Tournament in December. Oh, and she gets a good hit. She dropped it, and that is out. Wait, what? I, I don't understand that. <laughs> That's what, the, that's what our scorekeeper is saying. So that's going to bring up into the first, Porum 2, Crowder 1. <clears throat> who's, hey, who's going up the bat for them now? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I know her. Actually, I, I know her, but not very well. Really? Nice. Hashtag Carson was here. <laughs> I don't know, you say it. You was looking at me like, no, you aren't here. So up the bat for Crowder. What's her number again right there? Three. three. Number three, Judah Owen. And that's going to be a strike. Oh, one the count. I don't need a name for 33. I know her. Ball one, one, one the count. No outs. Ball two, two one the count. Strike two, two two the count. I don't even think she would remember me either. I don't know. I'm not well known in that area. Ball three, full count. Full count. I see you over there, Emery. Strike three. 
So first out, up the bat for Crowder, number 33, Haley Bailey. I think they're coming up top of the lineup after this, aren't they? Okay, they'll be top of the lineup again. Ball one, 1-0 one the count. Ball one. Uh, foul ball. One one the count. How many seniors do they have? They're saying three. You're not too sure? I don't know. And that's gonna be a ground ball hit. Riley Miller picks it up, throws it to uh throws it to Katie Cash and she is safe. She got to the base before it was an out. Dude, I'm already forgetting names. Evan Leaf getting ready to bat for Crowder, top of the lineup. And that is going to be a foul ball. That was fair. No, it was fair. Wait, that was fair? Okay, fans, do okay, folks. Don't ask me how that was fair, cause I can't give you a solution. I think it was in the strike zone. I don't know. I have to get with my man with the ump on this after this inning. Oh, uh, foul ball. Oh, on the count. I had three foul balls hit toward me when we played them yesterday. No joke. Three of them. So one out. Uh, ball one, 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 the count. And that's going to be a bunt. Oh! And Riley Miller threw it to third base. That is going to be second out. Okay, I don't know what's going on now. Okay, folks, I do not know what I just seen. Don't ask me, don't ask any of the fans. I don't know what I just saw. Who's it fat? Who's it fat? Stormy Shores up the bat for the, actually for a Crowder. Again, folks, I've seen some crazy stuff happen today already. Don't ask me what that was. So two outs. Runners at third and second. Oh, and it's up, it's up. Is it gonna be caught? Yes, it is, third out. And we're coming up bottom of the second. Porham still leads two to one. I've already seen too many crazy things happen. Ah, Carson and Jalen's probably seen crazier. Hey, don't look at me like you don't know what you're talking about. I know how you two are. <laughs> uh, two to one. I don't even think they did the coin flip this time. Yeah, I'm doing a broadcast. I'm over by the first base dugout. We're pretty close. So, Lady Panther offense is going to get ready to come back out onto the field. Alright. 
So up the bat for the Lady Panthers, number three, Riley Miller. Oh, sorry, I didn't know I was in y'all's way. Ball one, one over the count. Strike one, and that was ball two earlier. Two one the count. I'm in too many people's way. Oh, and that is a foul ball. Goes over the fence. 2-2 Two -two the count, no outs. Really need sunblock when it's like not even hot. Ball three, full count. And strike three, first out. She didn't even swing at that either. So number 13, Crystal Brown getting ready to bat for the Lady Panthers. Strike one, one one the count. Ball two, two one the count. And that is gonna be a good hit, goes right into the outfield, it's to the fence. Crystal Brown's on the move. First, second, third. Oh, she's gonna go all the way. Home run for the Lady Panthers. Crystal Brown with the solo home run to make it a three to one ball game. I tell you all, you don't see that too often. Slow pitch, you just see it out of the park. So you heard that here, out of the park run, no, in park. Up the bat, number 18, Katie Cass. And that's gonna be a good hit, and it's gonna go to first base, and she is out. So we're coming top of the lineup. Number seven, Danielle Barnes ready to bat. Yeah, that's literally her nickname before you ask, Carson. Bulldozer Danny. You mean you gotta get it, her name's Danielle. She plays aggressive. You get the message, bro. Uh, strike one, there was two balls, two one the count. Strike two, two two the count, two outs. And that's gonna be a ground ball, it is dropped. And Danielle Barnes gets the first base. Up the bat for the Lady Panthers, number 22, Mallory Barrett. And she's going to bunt. Question is, is she going to get there in time? 
Yeah, we know it. Yeah, we know it's your girlfriend, Shell. And she is. She's safe, but now we got. Now we may go to replay here. Hold up. This replay. This play is under further review. Now Crowder's coach has come off the bench. Wait, what was the call? I don't know what the call is, but they just let Danielle Barnes advance the third. What was that call? You don't know? I don't know either. I'm just here. Okay, so now we definitely got a disagreement. The head coach for Crowder is out of the box. We got a disagreement, but it's not like a, but it's not like what you see with baseball coaches, in which the the manager of the team just storms right out of the dugout, and then he's just firing off f word this, f word that to the ump, and then boom, he gets tossed. So I do not know what they are talking. What are they talking about out there? Carson, what are they talking about over there? Well, you know more than I do. I don't know. And he's half asleep. Oh, y'all probably just got out of practice. Or did y'all just have a walk through as well? That's what we did. Okay, I think we're about to resume. The coach is going back to the dugout. No one got, before anyone asks, no one got thrown out of the game. I know I'm probably going to get people asking me, no one got tossed. Getting ready to bat for the Lady Panthers, number one, Savannah Makeham. Two outs, runners on first and third. Well, strike one, oh one to count. Mallory Barrett was on the move and she advances the second. Sneaky move. Strike two, oh two to count. And that's going to be an infield hit. And that is caught. Third out, and we are coming up top of the third. And uh, Forum holding on to a three to one lead. I'll be back. Yeah, I was say, I know y'all aren't running away from me. They probably are, I don't know. You never know about Carson. One girl over there saying something about she was, they said she was interfering or something. Oh, okay. I see that happen in baseball a lot. You know, my senior year, we played golf's baseball team in districts. That was the first time I met Haley, I believe. Yeah, I still, yeah, I still have the picture from that day. My phone was so low quality back then. Couldn't even hold a charge. This one can. I didn't think any of you, I didn't know if any of y'all remembered that game. 2018, it's at Crowder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Lady Panther defense, who's going up the bat? Number 13. I can't pronounce her last name, but 13. And that was strike 101 to count. I just started doing play-by-play -play with, with a football game a couple weeks ago. Ball one, one, one to count. Hey, easy in there. 
Foul ball, one to the count. Uh, who's number 10? She's going, she's not on, oh, ground ball scooped up by Kingley Hokett, throws it to Allie Bush, and that is going to be first out. Who's this? Number 10, Maggie Lott getting ready to bat. Yeah, first day, I believe. 1021 almost had it out of the park yesterday. Uh, oh, infield hit. Scooped up by Mallory Barrett. Though she though she advances to first base. Who's number 12? I know her first name's Kelsey. Do what? Okay. So, Kelsey Motley, number 12, getting ready to bat. One out. Runners on first. Uh... Ball one, one oh the count. So far, so good. Oh, by the way, regional assignments come out on Sunday. Uh, strike, foul ball, 1-1 one, one the count. Yeah, I'll probably post them on the page. Regional assignments. <clears throat> Strike two, one to the count, one out. Strike three. Oh, oh, what? Did you see that? She did. She did that against Quentin yesterday. I didn't get it on video though. No, I'm audio. Yeah, I could, I would do a video broadcast. Even, I have unlimited, but strike one, oh one, the count. It goes through data. Who's that bat? I, Twenty-one. So oh two, the count. You know, you guys don't know. I don't know. Oh, why Carson and them have to bail on me? Oh, it's popped up. Caught by number 13, Crystal Brown, and that's going to be third out. Runners retired at first. And we're going to be coming up bottom of the third. There's the two that bailed on me. Why'd y'all have to bail on me, man? Kelly, I didn't think I'd see you here. Well, I, have been there several days. I didn't see you yesterday. I have things to do. I can't always come. I know. Well, regional assignments will be out Sunday. We go to regionals, we'll probably end up going somewhere far. Right now, I think either Fairland or Tuska. I hate the Tuska. I got it. My first team kicked Yeah, you know Tuska and Stringtown speed trap. So is Tuska. Yeah. I think everyone in Southeast Oklahoma knows about that. So Crowder's defense come back on the field. Lady Panther offense getting ready to come back out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Against Crowder. Yeah. Emory. Your dad not come? Oh, he's over there. All right. Yeah, I have to go tee him up later. So number 17, Elijah Barbie getting ready to bat for the Lady Panthers. And that was a good hit. And she gets the first. 
Hey, what were they asking y'all about over there? You guys know my dad. That's my dad. Oh, so I see. So, oh, and Elijah got the second. What was that? Oh, and now she's gonna get the third. I don't know what just happened. So I, I didn't know you knew who Burke was over there. Yeah. Oh, uh, you're dagging OHP trooper as well. I figured he would. That's how they knew each other, maybe. Oh, cool, cool. Oh, so number two, Kingley Hokett getting ready to bat for the Lady Panthers. Elijah Barbie sitting at third base. Got two stolen bases. I didn't see either. And she's going to bunt. Foul ball. 0 oh, 2 the count. No out. And Kingley's ball, Hogue is going to foul ball. Foul ball. Strike three. First out. So number 23, Allie Bush getting ready to bat for the Lady Panthers. Oh, foul ball. Oh, one the count. I just noticed Stormy's taller than I am, and I'm six foot. That's crazy. Oh, and she gets a base hit, and it's tossed to first base. She's out. And Elijah Barbie gets in, though, brings it four to one. I'm broadcasting. Yeah, broadcast. I run a school page for Porum. Yeah, it's crazy. A lot of, uh, lot of y'all's team actually, uh, so a lot of them know who I am, but they've never met me. Haley's the only one I actually know, yeah. I, the basketball coach knows me, of me. She's heard my podcast. There you go. Yeah. Like, so I say four to one. Okay, yeah. So, uh, oh, oh, um, I don't know. Hang up. Number three, Riley Miller up the bat. Uh, really? Cool, cool. Oh, foul ball. One, two, the count. Ball two, 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 the count. Oh, foul ball. 2-2 two, two the count. You know, I've seen y'all come to our place this year outside of the tournament. Really? Yeah, I, our schedule came out a while back. Oh, good hit by number three, Riley Miller. Oh, it was barely fair. She's moving. She is going to get the third. Oh, it's going to be a home run. Oh, Riley Miller with a solo home run to make it a 5-1 to one ball game. Another home run. Yeah, I'm just, I, I, oh, I'm just saying, yeah. I mean, I see what I do when I'm broadcasting. 
second home run of the day. Yeah. What is that, five to one? Yeah, I'm doing broadcast right now. I got I just got in the broadcast and like when we played Midway in football. So number 13, uh, Crystal Brown getting ready to bat for the Lady Panthers. Uh, ball one, one over the count. Uh, ball two, two over the count. And Carson, you still think you could get that double T this year? You still think you could get that double tech this year? I feel like he's gonna get tech. Both of y'all, actually. What? Ball three, three over the count. Question is, which one's gonna pull a Marcus Smart? Uh, strike one, three one the count. Carson, if you don't know what I'm talking about, look up the video or, or yeah, it's like where Marcus Smart's at OSU and he goes off on the Texas Tech fan. Or it could be at the Hawks game when he charged toward a ball four, four on the count, where he charged toward DeAndre Bembry and the referee. Number 18, Katie Cash getting ready to bat for the Lady Panthers. This is the first year we've had walk-up music that I remember. Yes, it was her screaming. <laughs> so ball one, one oh the count. Ball two, two oh the count. Ball three, three oh the count. Y'all play them in basketball. Oh wait, there y'all's conference. Yeah. Strike one, three one the count. Hey, you see where Indianola's coach went? Whitesboro. He coaches the girls over there. Strike two, full count. They actually had a good group. We scrimmaged them over the summer. Yeah, they had a point guard. She's just a sophomore, and she's ball four, four on the count. Yeah, they're young, but they're good. Top of the lineup, folks. Danielle Barnes, number seven, getting ready to bat. Mm. Hey, y'all still play with Tomka? You know what? You know, they went down the A. Yeah, Foyle, Wetumpka, and Ripley are the three largest teams in A this year. I know Ripley's pretty good. Their girls are. Oh, you Oh, you know some of them? I, they didn't lose hardly anyone, though. They only lost one senior. I know their girls only lost one. Danielle Barnes with a good hit. And Crystal Brown's going to get in and score. And that is going to bring up six to one. Going good so far. Going real good. Someone in the chat said they were pretty sure that was you screaming. I'm like, yep, it was. That was Mandy Lindsay. Yep. Yep, you heard it, Mandy. It was her. If you're still listening, who's at bat? Mal, Mallory Barrett up the bat for the Lady Panthers, number 22. Oh, foul ball. Oh, one the count. So 0 1 the count, two outs, runners at second and third. Foul ball, 0 2 the count. She's doing what they call a slap, apparently. 
Can't really do it in slow pitch. I mean, you can, but it's a lot harder to do. Believe me, I've, I've seen more than you two think I have. Oh, good hit by Mallory Barrett. And Katie Cash and Danielle Barnes are going to score, making it 8 to 1. The Lady Panthers are on fire today. Number one up the bat, Savannah Makeham. We win districts, it'll be first title since 2015. That was my sophomore year. And I'm getting old. <laughs> Considering the fact I graduated in 2018. And it don't seem like... Oh, it's Savannah Makeham with a good hit. And she's going to advance to first. That was ball... That was only ball one, wasn't it? Number 17, Alasia Barbie getting ready to bat for the Lady Panthers. It's weird. I'm broadcasting, but I still put the live score update right there. I type it in. Oh, a ground ball hit, and that is caught. Brings up third out, end of the third, coming top of the fourth. Lady Panthers have been on fire. The score is now eight to one. Not that much. Eight to one. Not a bad stuff. Not a bad start. Hey, Butch, what do you think? Not a bad start. Jan, what do you think? Not a bad start. Yeah. What about Yeah, good. Hey, when they. Oh, yeah, I've been doing it over there. My friends from Canadian know the names. Oh, okay. Two of their girlfriends I know. Hey, when they, uh, if they, when we win, if we did do the uh, group picture, I need you to take that post up so I can get it on the page. Go ahead, I, I know. It's so weird, people. I usually film over by third base, Doug. I got broadcast over there. I'm over by first base this time. I alternate every time. Uh, that's Judah, isn't it? Judah Owen getting ready to bat for Crowder, number three. See, see close to the end of the lineup, I actually those two are the only ones I know. Everyone else, they know me somehow. Might have heard my podcast. I don't know. And that's going to be a bunt. Riley Miller scrapes it up, gets it to Katie Cash, and that's going to be first out. Haley Bailey getting ready to bat for Crowder, number 33. That's her same jersey number in basketball, I think. Y'all should know, y'all play them. Uh. Carson, and have you not seen our girls against y'all's girls? Yeah. You know, last year it was actually kind of close, but both teams missed like a million shots. That was a foul ball, and that was a ball. 1-1 one, one the count. Sorry, folks. Jalen and Carson's got me sidetracked. What's that? I didn't know you did. Oh, you pitched? We don't play all. We used to play Canadian in baseball. Ball three, three one to count. What was you saying? Uh, I said I didn't. I don't know who we played. I just seen the first Yeah, I know we played Canadian last my sophomore year. Strike two. No, that was ball four. Ball four. So she advances to first. I need a name again. I done forgot. Evan Leak up the bat. Top of the lineup for Crowder.
Oh, and a Lady Panther error, and Haley Bailey advances to second base. I think that was third error of the day. So ball one, 1-0 one the count. Oh, foul ball, 1-1 one, one the count. I don't know, I think Carson up here is debating that call. So 1-1 one, one the count and one out. Ball two, two one the count. I forget which one 21 is, and she almost hit it out the other day. 21 from Crowder. Oh, good hit! And it is caught by Savannah Makeham. Second out for Crowder. Who's the, I, I need a name. Kylie Smith. Kylie Smith, number six, getting ready to bat. See, folks, at least, hey, Bart, at least I got names this time. Yeah, I'll see what you said this time. Hey, I got names. Hey, if Carson hadn't been here, I probably wouldn't be knowing names. I know. And that is going to be a good hit. And Kylie Smith is going to get to second. Do what? Stormy Shores up the bat, number 25. Or at least that's what Carson says. Strike one, all one to count. Two out. Yeah, two outs. Hey, Bart, so far so good. I know. Oh, pop up. <laughs> Caught by Riley Miller out number three. And we're going to be coming up bottom of the fourth. Pour them eight, Crowder one. You know, I, told, I was telling Jan, if we play like this going into the regionals, we might could pull off a big, big upset. Yeah, yeah. You know, first time fast pitch went to state. That was my freshman year. We lost to Rattan, and I think Rattan got runner-up. I remember that game. Yeah, I got Shawnee. The Hall of Fame Stadium in OKC was under renovation. I don't. I kind of called BS on the renovation because you know they still had the College World Series there. Yeah, I seen the uh, baseball coach at Canadian came from Crowder. Yeah. The, foot, uh, the guy that's football coach now didn't want to coach baseball anymore or something. They said, you know, I actually read an article somebody he never played baseball, but the previous coach was the one that taught him all the plays. I read an article about that in the McAllister paper. Yeah, our coach, our coach, the baseball coach is the football coach now. Yeah, I know, I know. That's the guy I'm talking yeah, about. He yeah, he must have came from a fall baseball school. He's from Norman. Norman, oh, well, that's Norman. That's you know that's a football school. Norman and Norman North have the biggest rivalry, bigger rivalry, Union and Jinx. The biggest rivalry in the state is football. Yeah, I know. Up the bat, Kingley Hokett for the Lady Panthers. Ball one, one zero. Oh, the count. Strike one, one one the count. Carson Uji says y'all's big. Oh, heads up! Or what? Y'all's biggest rival. And what, and what Basketball. Quentin. Really? I thought Crowder or Indianola would have been one of y'all's. Well, I mean, those are easy games. Yep. You see, here's the thing. I say Crowder and Indianola because they're not far from y'all. Oh, pop up! Caught by Stormy Shores, first out. Well, that's Savannah. 
Yup, but they're in y'all's conference. In fact, y'all's conference is y'all, Crowder, Indianola, Pittsburgh, Stewart, Haleyville, Indianola, and someone else. Kiowa, yeah. Number 23, Allie Bush at bat. It's caught by Stormy Shores. Who's number 10? Handed back out to Maggie Lott, second out. Riley Miller's going up to bat. And folks, she's had a home run today. Did you see where uh, she had a home run? Yeah, she hit in the corner. Didn't oh, she? yeah, that was epic. Always good day to be a Panther. Oh, foul ball, 0 oh, on the count. Anytime you know it's not in the strike zone, then you know it's a foul ball. Oh, right back to Stormy Shores, and that's third out. And that's end of the fourth. Coming up top of the fifth, poor mate, Crowder one. Yeah, top of the five. Yeah. Hey, I've been covering this for a long time. Seventh grade year to be exact. Uh-huh. How old are you now? Uh, 19. I'll be 20 in January. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting old already, man. Oh, I know. I know it. Yeah, he got too hot the other day. Oh, yeah. They'd have uh, Bill come in. Where do you have to come in from? At first base is up the bag, isn't she? That's the that's the one that was kept. Okay. Oh wait, who's it? That's thirteen. It's 13 the one with the hard to pronounce name. Pierre or something. 13 at bag. I can't pronounce her na last name. Ball one. One oh the count. Did you see Quentin went down the class A? In what? Basketball. Uh -huh. They did. Look at the ADM. They'll probably go to state. Uh you know what? Never mind. I'll text you my opinions on LA. I'm not saying that on the podcast. We went to overtime. Yeah, last year that. Yeah, seventy-one, sixty-eight. They said you hit. Oh, strike one. Oh, one, one. The count. Yeah, they said you had the game-winning three. It was like sixty-nine to seventy. And they're not even in y'all's conference. And it's a ball caught by Crystal Brown. First out for Crowder. Maggie Lott for Crowder, number ten, getting ready to bat. You know, I've had the busiest week so far. Day one yesterday, day two the day, high school football tomorrow night, Little League on Saturday. Oh, I've been announcing. Should have been there, Burke. I was announcing. I know, I'd be like Kevin Harlan or Marv Albert, one of those guys. I know, gotta have that motivation. Ball one, one on the count. Strike one, one one the count. Oh, I, I know, I know. Ball two, two one to count. That's the weirdest move I've ever seen. You know that guy out there, supposedly the boys basketball coach at Crowder. Yeah, he's a pretty nice guy. I talked to him earlier. Yeah, I think they said before he was at Crowder, he was an assistant at Hara. That's what I you know, that's a, I was told uh, y'all's girls coaches. Strike three! 3 0 the count. I used to go to hand. Really? Yeah. Cool. You know, they say y'all's girls coach came from there, too. He was the girls' assistant, and that guy was the boys' assistant. Yeah. Who's number 12? Her name's uh, Kelsey. Kelsey Motley. Kelsey Motley up the bat. Oh, what? Did you see her when she about threw her helmet down? They say she does that a lot. 
You don't know? You're supposed to know, man. You want Strike one. I say, y'all supposed to be my insiders around that area. Yeah, that's my guess. That's usually what a leg brace is for. One, one, the count. Two out. Strike two. Strike two. One, two, the count. Our pitcher's just a freshman, and she's probably the strongest one on the team. You see? Really? Yeah. Ball two, 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 the count. Only losing two seniors. So two, two, the count. Ball three, full count. Is y'all's band gonna be coming when we play y'all next week? Good, Quentin brought their band last week. Our band's good. Oh, I know. I know, I went to y'all's place last year, remember? A uh, ball four. And Motley gets walked, who's 21. Her name's Chloe, I don't know her last name. Chloe Reeder, number 21 for Crowder, getting ready to bat. I think she's a senior. Ball one. Yeah, ball one, 1-0 one the count. Strike one, one one the count. I tell you, I'd be like a Kevin Harlan or Marv Albert out here. <laughs> one of the pro Hall of Fame announcers. Well, is that ball two or what? You don't know? Ball two, two one the count. Oh, heads up! Foul ball, 2-2 two, two the count. See what I mean when I say they're always coming towards me? Same way in baseball, too. What y'all's baseball field look like? I don't think I've ever seen it. Yeah. Well, actually, I have been there because we played y'all in Van Oss my sophomore year, but that was... Ball three, full count. You got to think about it. That was three years ago. Hey, and this is, and get this, Van Ross went to state that year. We took them in the four, five extra innings. And that's going to be a good hit. Caught by Katie Cash. Third out. Third out. And we're coming up bottom of the fifth. Porum eight. Crowder one. We're so close. Ms. Hokit. Hey, so far so good. No, he's also the boys basketball coach. Yeah, he's actually a pretty nice guy. I've talked. Yeah, he's a pretty nice guy. <laughs> nope. Hey, I'll say this, a lot of officials know me. I'm pretty well known everywhere, honestly. Even Carson here knows that. Uh, I don't know where he's from either. I know the feet. I know the ref, the ump at first plate, but I don't know him. Strike one. Oh one, the count. Oh, okay. Well. Ball one, one one, the count up the bat for the Lady Panthers. That's say number 13. Yep, number 13, Crystal Brown, and she's gonna hit it up the middle, and she'll advance to first. And up the bat for the Lady Panthers, number 18, Katie Cash. I think it's 10 after five in playoffs. Yes. That's what uh, Jan told me. Yes. No, it's 12. 12 after 4, 10 after 5. Yes. All righty. 
Strike one, all one the count. Yeah, that one was a little high. So all one the count, no outs. She's gonna bong out of bounds. Foul ball, 0 2 the count. So 0 2 the count. Oh, hits it up the middle, throws it to second base. So Crystal Brown is out. Katie Cash advances the first base. Almost a see that almost a double play. So Danielle Barnes, number seven, up the bat for the Lady Panthers, top of the lineup. Strike one, 0 oh, one the count. Yeah, I know I'm live. Ball one. One one the count. Oh, it's a single ball scooped up by Shores. And Katie Cash is out. Danielle Barnes advances the first base. Mallory Barrett, number 22, up to hit for the Panthers. Yeah. Well, I knew that. <laughs> hey, you know me. Hey, we all make mistakes, Mark. We all make mistakes. Oh. Ball one, one oh the count. You remember when we played the last year, she was the guard that could score on our team. She's good. All around athlete. Play every position. Strike one. One one the count. I'm surprised this doesn't run my battery down. Foul ball. One two the count. And she's out. So we're coming up. That's the end of the fifth. Bark, that was the end of the fifth. All right. So we're coming up into the fifth. Poor mate, Crowder one. This has actually been a pretty fast game, honestly. You, you, hey, you know, you might not know this, but my cousin's the pitcher at Kiowa. Her name's Rachel. She's really good. Yeah, the girls are good. Yeah, I believe they play districts today. They had Tupelo in a two-team district, I believe. Yeah, 35 and 0, number one in Class B. Now, they don't make a lot of sense. They're Class B in uh, baseball and softball, but they're uh, A in basketball. We're two A in basketball and B in football. Yeah, but y'all are eight man. I heard rumors they're making they're, they may make y'all go up to eleven man next year. I won't be there. I know. You know they may, apparently it's like the top four teams go up like the highest enrollment. Uh, we're probably up there. We have, of, we have a lot of kids. And uh, actually, I, I've heard Burns Flat, Dill City, and Carnegie are two that may go up. Yeah, Burns Flat's pretty good. Football. They upset Laverne last week. Yeah, I watched that game. They didn't, neither team is that good. Y'all went to that game? No, no, no. I just watched it on YouTube. How, who was streaming it? I don't I have no clue to be honest. I just looked at, looked at the Who's at bat? Judah. Judah Owen at bat, number three. Well, you would know. <laughs> yeah, uh, Laverne or Burns not that good. Shaddock still good. But I was saying on my podcast, y'all have a shot to make a run, but playoffs go through Shaddock and Regent Prep. Yeah, Regent Prep, they'll, 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 they'll probably win state. Unless Shaddock beats them again. Yeah. They say they have a running back that moved up to the line. Too old to count, by the way. Shaddock's quarterback's the best player. He's really good. Well, Greg is he. I think he's a senior. He's really good. 
Oh, uh, you know him? No, I just, I don't know. I've seen him, I've seen him like, huddle and stuff. He's ridiculous. I don't know. Foul ball, 2-1 the count. Uh, you've probably played against some players out that way. We'll probably go, like, round three, maybe. Round oh. three quarterfinals. Yeah, round three That's quarter. over Thanksgiving break. 3-1 the count. That was ball three. So how many of these girls are on the basketball team? I know two of them are. Actually, three of them. Five or six of them. Five or six of them. Haley Bailey up to bat for uh, Crowder. Kylie is the catcher. Her, Haley, Judah. I know Haley is because... Oh, uh, foul ball. I know Stormy was, because that's what one that's of my it. insiders that's told it. me. I'm actually going to try to go scout them when I can, because I've heard, because I, I, they're actually in my top favorites to go to state right oh, now. Last year they were in the area. They yeah. They didn't lose anybody. Go! Oh. And she's safe. They lost to Smithville, I believe. And yeah. Smithville girls, they met. Smithville went second round to state. Did you see who they got smoked by in the semifinals? Uh, ceiling. Ceiling one state. Yeah. Ball two, two on the count. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I agree with you. They played Kiowa three times that year. I was there. I was there for every game. Strike two. What? They should have beat Kiowa. Well, I knew you was there. I, 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 didn't have, I, I didn't have a girlfriend. I was just there watching. Oh, I know. I know. Was that Indian? Yeah, I know. You know, you know, I heard the uh, kid from Asher dunked it several yeah, times. Yeah, yeah. He's good. Kid, there was a kid from. Son. Yeah, Hamilton's son, yeah. Oh, ground ball hit, scooped up by Riley Miller. Allie Bush gets it, and that is going to be first out. Judah Owen gets the third base, so runners on third. Evan Leak up the bat, top of the lineup for Crowder. Back deep. That's what they always tell our girls when a good hitter comes up. I think every team does that, baseball and softball. Uh, ball one, 1-0 one the count. Strike one, one one the count. Oh, ground ball. Crystal Brown gets it to Allie Bush and out. Second out. Number six, Kylie Smith getting ready to bat for Crowder. Shady Cash on your side. Yeah, what Burke said. Strike one. Oh, one the count. You know, our girls usually scrimmage Crowder every year. Yeah, our girls only lost two seniors. Uh, but Riley Miller gets it to Allie Bush and third out. No safe, she's safe. They called her safe though, Bart. Yeah, I know, I saw it. Stormy Shores up the bat for Crowder. Two outs. Is the score that high, Burke? Oh, they scored? Oh, they scored? I didn't know she got back, so. Score update. So, so Judah Owen did get to home plate, so that makes it eight to two. Oh, runner, Kylie Smith's running. Lady Pan, and now she's running again. She's at third. And a couple of stolen bases. Oh 
So ball two, two outs. Strike one, two, one the count. And Lady Panthers call time. Uh, the, the one dude over there, that was the 5'7 dude on our team. Hey, you might recognize our quarter. What? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> a lot of people sometimes make fun of me because I drink diet. Why do you drink diet? I don't know. My grandparents. What? I don't know. Cold time. Well, we'll see. My grandparents. My grandparents drunk diet, so that's kind of why I did. Yeah. They called time. Folks, I don't know what's going on. Okay, so the runner was out too early. The umps just informed me they did go to a replay monitor. Again, we don't have a replay monitor in high school. I'm just making this up as I go. Oh, so that was out. So bottom of the sixth now, Lady Panthers up the bat. Number one, Savannah Makeham's up the bat. Ball one, one over the count. Is that a golf cart? It looks like it. It's a what? Oh, that's like an ATV or a UTV. Yeah, off-roader. Ball two, no ball three now. Three over the count. Anyway, you might recognize our quarterback next week. He, had, he guarded you a lot in basketball. He was 14. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, his name's Briley. He's blonde. Yeah, you'll recognize him. Well, I don't know if you play on defense. Linebacker. Ball four. Savannah Makeham advances the first. See, I knew Trent and Jake played on defense. Ball one, one over the count. And I reckon he plays on defense. He's, he hasn't got a heart yet. Oh, so you're still ineligible. Yeah. He's oh. about to move into district. Oh. Oh, cool. Yeah, I've never understood hardship rules. And two over the count. Three, two, one the count now. Strike one. That's the thing. I, I like to get into conversations with people while broadcasting. Really helps. 3-1 the count, ball three. Ball four, that was Alasia Barbie at bat. She is going to advance runners on first and second, no out. Kingley Hokick up the bat for the Lady Panthers. And that's going to be a bunt. Kingley Hokett's on the move, and she's safe. Bases are loaded. Allie Bush, number 23, coming up the bat for the Lady Panthers. Strike one, oh one the count. Yes, yeah, weird. You say you're the only one that plays wide receiver. Huh? You tell me you was the only one to play wide receiver and you were playing all different offensive positions. Yeah, I play everywhere. Yeah. Strike two, oh two the count. 
I don't know. I I figured Jake was a wide receiver, but you said he was he was big enough. Yeah, he's a receiver. He's not big enough for running. I was to say, I mean, Jake's good. Yeah, I know. I don't know Terrell. Oh yeah. Yeah, uh, ball one, one, two to count. Anyone else from the basketball team that plays uh, football? I think I've seen uh, that number 15 from the team play. Who's that? That's Levante, I yeah, think. Yeah, he plays football. Yeah, I figure as fast as he is, I figure he's a running back. Corner. corner. So they don't play offense. Uh, receiver sometimes. Uh, that's weird. Most corner. I figure you played corner. It's most quarterback. Yeah, yeah. Two, one, two, a count. Allie Bush hits it up the middle. Savannah Makeham gets in. Elijah Barbie gets in. And that brings the score 10 to 2. No outs. Riley Miller up the bat for the Lady Panthers. She hit it out earlier. She that's the one of them that hit a home run. I don't remember the other one. Do you remember which, who the other one was? Strike one, 0 oh, one the count. Wait, what's going on over there? Well, you know more than I do. A bunt! It's caught, she's out. Oh, she's out, first out for the Leggy Panthers. Getting ready to bat. Number 13, Crystal Brown. Ball one, 1-0 one the count. I say this, you know it's kind of crazy, some of these modern day Strike one, one one to count. Some of these modern day quarterbacks are like tall, tall. You ever notice that? Like all these newer quarterbacks. Yeah, he's like what, six six? I swear, he's like same. You put him next to someone like maybe. Okay, so ball two, two one count. Crystal Brown hits it. And that's gonna be two runs. Oh, and Crystal Brown is out at second. This is a ball game. Yeah. Oh, it's ball game? And that's ball game, folks. The Lady Panthers have just won their first district since 2015. Wait, way to go for the Lady Panthers. You can hear the crowd go insane. And you have just heard it, Lady Panthers District champs for the first time in three, four seasons. Regional assignments will be out on Sunday. Be looking for that. I will post them as they come out. And that's going to do it from Shoemake Field. It's your boy Hunter, and I am out.